Welcome back to Chicken Boys. Oh, uh, I am going to bang and chicken And Nick. Bo- we are the Chicken Boys. And Nick. I'm pretty sure the Chicken Boys is the group on the side over there. And I'm here to say we're gonna... Not, chicken Boys. Not sponsored by KFC every yeah. day. I wish. All right, Borax, hit us oh, up I with know. that sweet, sweet narration. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was that secret ingredient that the Colonel Sanders... Uh, I think we did this part, actually. I agree. Well, let's see where it takes us. We have an arrow up here, which you don't usually have. Yeah, let's speedy speed ahead. Yeah, that just auto-scrolls the text. Yeah. Does, does it? We've... I think we stopped here. I think we did. Fantastic. You mean up on your bestie <clears throat> in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. I burned a robot! Okay. <laughs> Please. I had sex with a little washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know this might sound a little strange, but I, but I think I might be... Um... All right. Best guesses? Mine's pregnant. Uh, pregnant. In love with a robot? <laughs> it's definitely uh, in love with a robot, but I like the idea that she has a robot baby. That would be cute. I was also going to say Pergan and Ant. All right, so we have three Pergan and Ants and one in love with a robot. Laura's probably right. There hey, you go. I like Clank! <laughs> I love I her love, voice, by the way. Love it. Like him? Or, sorry, like him? Like, like, like? Oh, no, it sounds like it's moving too fast. Well, there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him! We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. So if you picked the baby, would she be in love with the baby? Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's right. judging her? Me. Pilots. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, <sighs> but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to <laughs> and was the con- convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. Are you okay, Miriam? No. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. I might have inhaled too much exhaust from the, from the washing machine that I was having intercourse with. <laughs> I'm thinking, get to it. I'm thinking maybe something got lost. In pressure cooker <laughs> language translation there. No, he was definitely a convertible. <laughs> Either way, it might be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Colonel Sanders. Fucking bragging. You yeah, Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school. The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Colon Academy for Learning. <laughs> You're a thing now? Yes. We do. Definitely connected yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha Sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. I feel great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his... Secret ingredients. That was super quiet. That's what I did. (laughs) Cool. Your bestie's eyes light up. He told you about the salt? A secret (laughs) ingredient? Was it? Was it chicken? (laughs) (laughs) No. Yeah, I just said that. The other obvious one. (laughs) Oh, grease. Salt. (laughs) Breading. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? 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 By the way, Nick, can, whenever she does that pose, can you put up the Mako that she's copying? Oh, yeah. I'll send it to you. Yeah, no, I know who you're talking about from oh. uh, Kill a Kill, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Dr. Rue. <gasps> she's gonna ask you for it. Well, summer, I was on vacation with my family. A lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was a wandering. <laughs> This can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices. He just tells everybody, I guess. The man gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. 
All I had to do was suck it out of a hose. It's cocaine, Miriam. <laughs> Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled the suitcase with him and brought him home. Like him? He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch. You know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know one ingredient. So I doubt it'd be used Yep. Good night, Nick. Mm. Please, Words. please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? Make up a fake ingredient. Yeah, absolutely, obviously. make up a fake ingredient. Yeah, like I mean, I love our bestie, but no. Can't can't fucks with the colonel. We now Don't know she has an opioid problem. That's true. <laughs> She's a mule. She'll do anything to get it. <coughs> Just tell her it's cocaine. Don't fucks with Colonel Clux. Don't fucks with says. Colonel Clux. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know, how about? It was I of Newt. I know that sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? I of Newt, wow! Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. Watch later, Colonel Sanders gets mad that you're a bad friend. <laughs> oh, and she... that you messed with someone's food. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh no! How could you lie mm. for me? And however, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. I don't like the phrase thumb typing. Yeah. That's weird. She has a flip phone. Mm. It's a burner. Uh -huh. <laughs> Before you uh, can ask up. her to confirm <laughs> that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you are interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. <gasps> Is that my man? It's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> He's arriving at school. On a thumbnail, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not going to be the thumbnail, Nick. Oh, that is definitely our thumbnail. Yeah. I want to voice the horse. <laughs> oh, no. I want to run oh, to horse. I'd like to stand back and not get trampled by the horse. <laughs> you know, it's actually, I'm going to agree with Laura. I feel like if I run to him, we're going to die. That's fair. I'd say stand, yeah, stand back. Yeah, let fine. him park first. Mm. Colonel Sanders' <laughs> horse is truly a thing of beauty. Nick. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its arse, sending it running free into the countryside. You are so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Ah, yeah, hurrah. Oh, well, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Oh, don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. Mm, what a horseful beaut you have. That I mean, uh, uh, what a horseful beaut you have. Dang it, that's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, Chef, it's really nervous around people I like. What? That is not helping. I mean, I got food poisoning and we're up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. No, don't tell her I pooped. It was like she ate like 40 pounds of horrifyingly greasy, low quality chicken meat. <laughs> <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> Look at his face. This episode brought hilarious. to you by Popeyes. She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears <laughs> into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes, bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients, bad. Summoning the demon, bad. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulders. And is the more you know haircut. But he sees you coming. Oh, uh, dude, whoa, whoa, no one. Uh, nah, I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. 
Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Act like you're not interested in them, but get a real close look or tell them to stop acting so immature. Oh, those were words. I, I did the not. The bottom words. one. I want, uh, yeah, I want a Snoop. All right, let's get Snoopy on it. Yeah. <coughs> I want to turn my nose at them. Snoopski potatoes. Sorry about the leg. Oh. Snoopski potatoes. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magic spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try and cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. Aha! It's time for class, and you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Your now, hair cut should speak for it. Now you've upset them. Oh, you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? Yes! Uh, I'm not sure you know a good meal if it ain't you. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. It doesn't hurt. They use a little evil. I mean, it feels like that would hurt. Nope. <laughs> you killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> you finally get a look at what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It wasn't a man yet, dude. It was still a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's count. octopus again. He killed half a person. It's a book just like the one you found after your encounter with the spork monster. That's the same book I found last night in the quad. 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 <laughs> Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book's a family heirloom, and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't been just been studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall, and they're tossing potato skins <laughs> at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. We're playing. I'm Ugh. in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. <laughs> I would watch a show called Van Van's Meaty Foot. Same. I... Hey, I'll watch it, you bucket of bolts. Oh. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything wrong to you. Eh? We talk Your voices you. are all over the place. For Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Who do you think you're talking to? Never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> bop, bop. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> Break his neck, Van Van. <laughs> Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. I fucking love Clank. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. Oh. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me. I'm not interested in either of them. How can you not be interested in the robot? Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Certainly, he must know that this is a bruise, right? You gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Shave it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got a lofty career aspirations to focus on. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem like that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. 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 Students, students, please, take your seats. I apologize <laughs> for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. I love him. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. Yes. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, <clears throat> we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. Like the legs and breast and wings, haha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Only beaks for you. <laughs> beaks and feet! <laughs> when, you get, when you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Chef. Naturally, this appears to, you to be a sample platter. 
Which item do you want to sample? Dog biscuit. Oh, I do want the dog biscuit, but I feel like the shimmering pepper. Uh, I I would choose the dog biscuit because I have no idea what I'm doing. Same. It's a biscuit. They have biscuits there. Ah, uh, KFC <laughs> doesn't give no one water. That's true. Yep. And you gotta pay extra for shaving it, it, would, it wouldn't say a glass. It would say a bottle of fucking Aquafina. <laughs> yes. A, a tall, skinny bottle of $14 Aquafina. <laughs> also a surge. Puppy biscuit! <laughs> Ding! Because of its shape, it's baked in. Damn it. The dog biscuit is a treat made by Sprinkles, an example of his own culinary treat talents. Perhaps you reach out for it when... Oh, no! <laughs> Sprinkles jumps up and bites onto your cooking apron. <laughs> What kind of monster would steal a dog's favorite biscuit? Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks on in horror as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. After getting mauled by a dog. I never even got to taste it. You fade into darkness, but something is there. The spark monster. Borko? What are you doing here? It, er, what was my voice for him? Um, oh, yeah. With the cheeks and the fat people yeah, voice. The fat people in ours is. Yeah. Well, it's not your time yet, my friend. Your act of kindness has not been forgotten. You watch as your apron magically repairs itself. You won't have to live in embarrassment anymore. Thank you, my friend. Wherever you are. <laughs> oh. What do you want to sample? Pepper. Purgatory is nice. I guess pepper. I guess peeper. So I mean, we got chicken and peppers. Yeah. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in a most eye-catching way, so naturally you reach out to grab it and eat it right away. Oh, your body is not prepared for the heat. Oh, no! The pepper is trying to intense slice of hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. <laughs> My friend, oh. <laughs> This guy, again. I'm here to give you an important message, ooh. It was the wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm more KFC. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. My sheet is made out of KFC napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the cookie, it's a trap. <laughs> All you must do is... <laughs> I was saying, to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... <laughs> Sorry, I think I've got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine. I'll work through... <laughs> to fulfill... <laughs> the prophecy! <laughs> you must... You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure I'll forgive you someday. Uh, Kyle, I'm going to take uh, uh, the things that you always yell at me for. Kyle, get the mouse off the screen! I use it for the game, you idiot. Yeah, also, that's my line. It. You can still move it from her face. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Hold on, it's time for lunch! Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. Who would have picked the water? Maybe it's, you probably got a game over for that one, too. I would bet. <laughs> mm. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. My right boob is way bigger than my left. It's just perspective. It's, that's not dramatic. We knew that. But hey, lunch will be prepared. No, thank you. Be a time competitive cook-off. Yeah. The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Uh, I want to step up. Yeah. Yeah, let's step up. The right. cannon. Like that to the go. streets. Yeah. Are we going to serve them? A bit of lunchtime competition, oh. eh? Drumline? That drum. <laughs> Bubble Boy? She's Bubble got a cleaver. Boy. Count me in! If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. So I'm, I'm not the fool, you're the fool. 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 Good one, Van Van. What's my name? What's my name? I like your gumption, chef. 
Well, I'll be wait. I'll be watching your performance. Her cleaver is like one inch from his scrotum. Mm-hmm. Yarg. <clears throat> Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. No, no, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sporting court. What's a sportsing sports? court? Yeah, it's a court where one does sports. Oh, a sportsing court. Ah, I see. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Oh! Just then, a huge <laughs> light blasts you in the face, flashing the words "timer ready." I feel like I don't want to be holding the keyboard anymore. Laura, you're playing again. Yeah, oh, That's no. fine. I'll do it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's so cute. I love when he does that stupid point. I stand corrected. I love the Colonel pose. I can't get over it. Yeah. It's beautiful. He's blinking and staring <laughs> into his palm. It's so beautiful. His palm that's way bigger than his face. Yes. Now, you know what that means. Way, <laughs> big loves. The hard <laughs> way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. He has yaoi hands. You do. <laughs> and that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. Yeah, we I hope it's a message. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's message lifts you to victory. <laughs> like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. Can I will defeat you hair. myself, evil eyes. You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Potatoes. Think fast. Potatoes. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Ugh. What temperature does water boil at? That's you, Laura, your scientist. It's not Celsius. It's Fahrenheit. No, it's, it's Celsius. Celsius really? Yeah, it's 212. It's degrees. wrong, you fool. No, it's not. You might have not clicked it. What well, are you thinking, the, chef? Get your head the, in the game. What did the top one say? Uh, boil it for 100 seconds. What? <laughs> I like that. Or no, it You're always going boils to need after hundred seconds. Season's chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and Eleven. spices? Eleven. Do you okay. All it needs to be is KFC questions. Well, I mean the boil one. Are we at like a higher altitude? What? Anyway, <laughs> that's right. You might not know all the ingredients yet, but at least you're headed in the right direction. Dude. Wag, 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 wag. Nailed it. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Gratitude. Gratitude? Trust. Uh, I feel like it's gratitude. Yeah, sure. Aha! All right. You must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. I remember he said that earlier. Ah. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. Is this, <laughs> is this why you passed off the keyboard? Do you, no, but do you really think water boils at 100 degrees Fahrenheit? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, we live at 100 degrees Fahrenheit That's sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> when you were a child, your father told you never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Wisconsin. No, would be a great time to harness that energy. So where small does it town. came from? Yeah, small town big dreams are born. Yeah. Or the shoulder of Orion, which I like better. That's right, <clears> this is your shot and you're not jump. going to miss it. <laughs> five, six, six, seven, seven, nine. Yeah. Yeah. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. Was the sound of success? S sizzling? Sizzling. Um, I guess sizzling. Yeah, why not? I was gonna say bubbling. Oh, no! uh, is it silence? I don't think so. Be... Don't make me get the spray bottle. You're supposed to be humble. I I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Too bad. Keep going. You know, it's Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. He's disappointed in you. I believe in you, Chef. Oh Shit. gosh. He's actually cheering you on, even though you're an idiot. <laughs> Who doesn't know how to boil water. Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders! The next answer's horse. Horse. How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to trail? <laughs> ah, you can't. Get, oh, you're it. get your mind back into the competition. For those who didn't see, all the answers were like, thinking about blowing Colonel Sanders a kiss and things like that. And that sounds really good. <laughs> You're stranded on a desert island with only one desert cookbook. Which do you take? What a hunk! No, oh, no, it's another thumbnail. <laughs> I know. There's so uh, many. Just put them. I all know, together. right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focusing on the uh, focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. 
Sorry, I forgot Gondola. the question. Gondola! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken delicate baked biscuits? Oof, oof. Boof boof. You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. Oh, in nature, if it's too colorful, that means it's poisonous. Just saying. You. <laughs> You make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. <laughs> That's your mother you threw that biscuit dough Fucking into. <laughs> amateur, you're ruining the air bubbles. They're going to be stodgy. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, you'll have nothing more than sand or foul appliances utilized in the kitchen battle. But sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. <laughs> You might not have any hands, but chef does. A good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. Well, there's an easy way and a hard way, and you don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to, risk, yeah, to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Oh no, we're about to lose a hand. <laughs> chef, no! But you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck and it's oh. immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use your hand for the rest of the match. I like this. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What, what you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. He's crying. Aww. He's sad for your hand. Ah, oh, it's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Sure, that makes me the winner by default. No, no, that wouldn't be. it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Chef's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. Well, I suppose you should at least tell us what you've prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Chef to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. There's already chocolate sauce on there. Shut up. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Oof. <clears throat> Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. What? That. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. It's raw! Smash! <laughs> well, this hell is a rotten! And he just breaks a plate on her head. Simplicity is not your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Look at that face. Oof. That, is, that is a stank face. Mm-hmm. Oh, you. <laughs> As he places a sauce-covered finger to his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage or put yourself between them. <laughs> Internalize. 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 Live it like real life. Your rage burns so intensely with your eyes that they burst into flames. Oh. You die. <laughs> You're dead. Flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run to the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. Wow, everything is shit today. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Day two is bad. <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that you look stupid with that eyebrows. <laughs> and a mangled hand. <laughs> and then he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. Well, I know you're hurting right now. But by gosh, not just from the devastating loss, but from the run-in with the mixer <laughs> and that small fire. We should get that checked out. I love his face when he's like, huh? <laughs> I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. Ooh. I'll yeah, never yeah. be a master chef. 
Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? Correct. Because I eat KFC a lot. You're right. I've never had any failure food. <laughs> That's exactly what I think. We all think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but failed as an obstetrician. <laughs> That's a real that? story. <laughs> I was passionate about justice, but failed as a lawyer. I was a passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. <laughs> cruel mule. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I didn't. I, oh, wait, that's you. I didn't know! I'm monologuing. Get out of here. It's okay. <clears throat> Not about you, shit. People see nope. my delicate. Get on out of my monologue. <laughs> <laughs> now, people see my delicate ribbon tie and my well kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it has not always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. And a hand job. Too bad you only have one hand. And I'm still on fire. I resolved that, that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him, a burning passion. Or run off eyebrows from, are okay. Yeah, it's run off from your eyebrow fire. Yep. <clears throat> one has to remember. That every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. <laughs> 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 something that a humble man in a crisp white suit could be proud of. <laughs> he heard you too. Look at his face. This fucking asshole <laughs> voicing me. <clears throat> I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. And most importantly, now, they will be open on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. His past misdeeds include him being in that gunfight. Yeah, right. The same. Yay! <laughs> Just as your moment goes into it, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the <clears throat> night before, you prepare for the worst. It was Pop. Or Borco. Or sorry. Borco! It, it is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back, but after the whole fight to the death thing, the, Maybe. Uh, you don't know what I... I don't think you want to see me anymore, but... I just wanted to say I was wrong to attack you, and I apologize. I know what it's like having to always look over your shoulder. Monster problems, am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Porco. I'm glad there's no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. Didn't we defend? Just saying. Yeah, <clears throat> well, Whatever. I know that you're strong and your cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to this school. I wasn't known as a spark monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were human once. I was a corky. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, there you I, go. I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student, damn it. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spellbook cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. A magic spellbook. Precisely. I had procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way, I lost it. If you find such a book, I beg you, respect it. Sweat the drift, Karen. You're a powerful chef, and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. His thing goes with everything. Ah, uh, just that's making a call now, joke. <laughs> nice work. <clears throat> you need me, don't fear. I will be there. We've noticed. Well, it sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Chef together, I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. 
personal invite? You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like. But it sounds like you're about to find out. Maybe on the net. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're finding out now. No, we can find out next time, Best Buds. Oh! Who's in a Put chicken me in the, coop? Put me in the say that. Look at the baby Colonel on the wall! Well, we'll have to find out about that next time. Aww. On Best Buds, perhaps. Yeah. Mm. Is it pizza time? <laughs>